we are all welcome back to the tech support channel today in this video i am going to explain the open api and how to consume open api in oracle integration open api is the most famous specification for the rest api which is widely used across the organization so in this video i am going to explain what open api is and how to consume open apis in oracle integration so before we start i will request everybody to subscribe to my channel and click on a bell icon to get regular updates now let's begin so first of all let us understand the open api open api specs and formally it is known as swagger specification it is nothing it's like a description format for your rest api it is like a file which it described about your api so basically when you write an open api it can be written in json or it can be a yaml so whatever language you are comfortable with you can choose the one and write your open api specification either in json or yaml so an open api file the file which you write it allows you to describe your entire api which includes the available endpoints like slash users slash order slash data slash invoices along with the available point it every endpoint will have a different different operations it can be a get it can be a post it can be a delete it can be a pod put it can be a patch so it is like an array of your operation against each available endpoint it will also tell you the server details where that api is hosted so everything you describe in the open api so how this open api structure looks like so it is a json it's a incomplete but if you see it is start with the curly braces meaning that is your json so the first tag is called open api which tells you the version of the open api you have used to write your api structure and the info and the info object you have a title and then version and then under servers it will tell you the url where the api is hosted so it's not mandatory and here you see the paths path is a collection of your api endpoints along with the parameter which you need to send and the responses and if you have any error handling that will be there some and here you see get get meaning it's a get operation so this is how your open api structure looks like of a json now let's start and see how the open open api can be consumed in oracle integration very easily so for that what i am going to do i am going to show you one of the integration that i have created called library if i open this and click on this metadata url you see every api you create every rest api you create along with the metadata endpoint it creates two type of urls as well one is called open api and second is called swagger if you click on this open api url it will give you the complete api details it starts from the open api which is a mandatory and then info the server and then path and then component and the error details so you can write open api's file in the json so let us consider this is the open api which you wanted to consume so what i am going to do i am going to create a connection with the help of rest since this is like a rest api i am going to use a rest api adapter and let's say open api let us say invoke and click on a create button once you do this here you see the connection type most of the time we use is rest api base url but you see we have a, another option called open api which is one of the famous option famous type of specification of the rest api what you need to do here you need to provide the complete url 
connection URL of your open API. And then under security, you can enter the username password, which is associated with the API and then test it. And then save. Now, my connection, REST connection with open API is created. I'm going to use this open API connection in the integration. So for this, I'm going to create a app driven orchestration. Let's say call open API and click on a create button. So here, let it open. What I'm going to write, I'm going to write a simple REST API. REST API connection. And here I will say call open API. Next. Okay. Next. And let's say slash open this uh, endpoint get. I'm going to add to review parameter and the response. Let us say number one, which I need to pass to my open API in this type. Number two, in this type. And if you see here, this API takes two argument num one and num two as a query parameters. So I need to pass this number one, num one, num two values. So I'm taking it from my REST client, JSON. And let's say result. So whatever result will be returned from the open API, I'm going to map with this. Next, I'm going to choose my open API connection, which I have just created. Let's say call. And here you can see select the appropriate checkboxes to configure request and response. And here you see the wizard is a little different than your normal REST connection, which you use using the best REST base REST API URL. Click on next. Open, when you use open API, you see the operation selection. You see all the resources. You can see slash sum. The sum is here. And for that sum, I have only single operation or work called get. I need to select it. Next. And what all available query parameters are here. Num1, num2, you can see here, num1, num2, and then move it here because I want to pass both of the variables next and simply say finish. I'm going to map the number one, number two with num1, num2. Let it be. Query parameter. Let's say the sky and num2. Validate and close. The next thing I want to map the response of it. So I'll open this mapper. And you see, call response and get response. Component schema response wrapper. Sum. And you can see the output parameter will be some here. You can see component schema response wrapper sum. And then I need to map it to my result. So now let's test it and see what happens. So I am going to enable a track parameter here. and save, save and close. Now let's test this integration and see what happens. Activate. Okay, great. Now the integration is completed. Now let me test and show you the integration should run successfully. Let's say 25. And then let's say 55. So result should be 100 now. It's calling. Okay. And mapped the 401 
Okay, so maybe the username password which I have entered is not correct. Let me try it again. Test. Save. And here, let me just save and reactivate. Okay, it's in progress. Save and then come back. Or let me simply reactivate it again just to test it. Okay, activate now. Let's wait to this action in progress. This is done and then test. Let's hit test now. And here you see the result is 100. So this is how you can call the open API in Oracle integration. Guys, I hope you like this video. If yes, please like, comment and share. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on a bell icon to get regular updates. You can find me over LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram. And you can always see my blog, https colon slash slash taxsupper.com. Thanks for watching the video. Have a good day. Bye-bye.